I left St. Louis when I was 13 to join my mother um, in California and left my brother and my two older sisters behind and my grandparents and uncles and aunts and everything. Um, because I pretty much knew what I wanted to do when I was, was 12 years old. I had an idea of, of what I wanted to do. <coughs> um, so my formative years were spent in, in the Midwest, in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. um, that's where I first picked up the guitar. Um, was your mother supportive of you being a musician? Well, actually, um, I had a job. When, when my parents separated and divorced, I moved downtown with my mother and got a job, which was a dream job for, for a kid um, working as a janitor in a, in a candy factory called Bissinger's Candy Factory, um, Carl Bissinger's. And if you can imagine a kid quitting a job at a candy factory, um, you know, what, what would be the reason that a kid would, would quit a job at a candy factory? Well, I'll tell you. I saw a ghost. Really? Yeah, I saw an apparition appear in the licorice room where the, the, the floors were covered with cornstarch and I was sweeping up. And Carl Bissinger had actually hung himself uh, up in the licorice room. They had an intercom system where when I was downstairs, they'd always make me go upstairs by myself and, and clean up up there where, where he had hung himself. And I used to hear clanging and rattling and creaking up there, so I was constantly terrified. Um, I got as much candy as I wanted, and here's a kid working his job, but um, yeah, I saw an apparition appear from, from the cornstarch, which was a top hat and tails. Ha! Huh. And I ran out of there and never came back. <laughs> But that's my, speaking of my parents not being supp totally supportive, the reason why I was working there was to, to um, um, make money to buy my first guitar, and which I did. 